In Pakistan, the party of former Prime Minister Imran Khan has announced plans to try to form a government following disputed elections. The chairman of Khan's PTI party says it started by forming an alliance with a smaller party. Imran Khan himself, seen here in archive footage, is in prison. His party has accused the state of a crackdown against its members and of vote rigging. Allegations the state denies. Despite being banned, PTI candidates ran as independents and won the most seats in this election. Simapia Tahir lost the vote in a constituency in the city of Rawalpindi. But she refuses to accept the result. She campaigned with the backing of Imran Khan's PTI party. Now she's mobilizing her supporters and protesting against what she believes was a rigged vote count. The police dispersed the rally. A police case is filed against her and other supporters for disrupting public order. Simapia is just one of the many PTI-backed independent candidates who say they were not allowed a level playing field for campaigning before elections. They were forced to do door-to-door -door campaigns. They complained their rallies were disrupted and their members arrested. The party headed into elections with their leader Imran Khan in jail and their electoral symbol removed, forcing PTI candidates to run as independents. With the election over, PTI-backed candidates are now flooding the courts with vote-rigging allegations, something the Pakistani state continues to deny. Yet, despite the many hurdles, PTI-backed candidates still won the most seats. A performance that shocked many. In Pakistan, leaders who run afoul of the powerful military rarely find electoral success. But candidates like Simapia Tahir say they will continue to fight legal battles till they get answers from the Pakistani authorities. Our reporter Binish Javid just returned from Pakistan. Binish, tell us more about the PTI and its efforts to uh, form some sort of government. Um, so today, PTI, headed by Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan, has announced that they will form an alliance with a small party in the centre. This will give them legitimacy. This will allow them to have access to reserve seats quota in the parliament. Uh, it will also stop the practice of horse trading because once these PTI-backed independent candidates become part of an alliance of a party, then by, by rule they cannot uh, switch sides. Um, so this also gives PTI uh, 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 some sort of strength that their uh, PTI-backed candidates will not uh, leave the party. Um, but this is just an announcement. Mm -hmm. uh, to form a government, they still need a lot of numbers. PTI still claims that they have enough numbers to form a government. They have challenged um, the results of several of the seats. They are going to the courts, to the Election Commission of Pakistan, and they say that they have evidence and they're hopeful that the results will favour them and that they will be able to eventually form the government on their own. But there is a, also a high possibility that they will not be able to form the government and mm. they will probably then sit in the opposition. It, it sounds like a whole lot of PR work to me. But what about other parties? So other parties are PMLN uh, that got the second highest vote and PPP that got the third highest vote. And today PPP, that the a party that announced um, that got the third highest vote and it is headed by Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, mm -hmm. who's son of Pakistan's former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto, oh. they have announced that they will support the second uh, party that won the most votes, PMLN, in forming the government. Uh, so basically they have sort of announced that they will not be in a coalition government which means that the party that wants the second highest vote, PMLN, as of now, it looks like they will eventually form a minority government. It, this all sounds like it's going to end up being some sort of uh, watered-down coalition. Uh, I mean, what Pakistan needs at the moment is a strong government with the legitimacy to tackle such huge problems like the economy, security. And the entire election activity was 
to end political instability in Pakistan, mm -hmm. uh, to have a strong, stable government. But in the run-up to election, one party, PTI, completely uh, accused of a complete uh, sidelining from the political process. Uh, they accused of a, being target of a military-led crackdown. And then after elections, we saw that this, because no party was able to gain majority, and there is still a lot of public support and sentiment towards PTI, it seems like uh, it's going to be a very weak government, a government that's not credible, a government that's being formed with accusations of vote rigging and vote irregularities. And therefore, I see political chaos in the, uh, in the future. I see political uncertainty in the future, a very weak government when Pakistan needs a very strong government with the kind of challenges that Pakistan has right now. Inish Javid, thank you very much for breaking it down for us.